Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Yana. This is The Scented and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the top designer fragrance brands and my favorite one from each house. This was incredibly hard because some of these houses I'm a big fan of and I have multiple favorites. So choosing down to one was like near impossible, but I did it. So here we go. If you guys are interested in seeing my top designer perfume brands, so like my favorite ones, the ones that I think are the best quality, the best smelling, and just like top of the top of designer fragrance brands, then keep on watching and here we go. So let's start with the obvious, of course, Chanel. Chanel is one of the best, if not the best, it is for people that like a little bit more of a classic smell, which I do. Chanel generally doesn't really appeal to the younger crowd or people that are just starting off in fragrance, but as your fragrance taste develops, you will surely develop a taste for Chanel, more than likely. And my favorite one as of today is Coco Noir. It is like a spicy rose clove scent, very warm, very, very cuddly. So this is my favorite from the house of Chanel. The next house, of course, is Dior. Dior is very, very popular. They have a lot of wonderful women's fragrances. They have great men's fragrances too. And they have one of the best private collections. So my favorite fragrance from Dior, I guess I'm cheating a little bit because I pulled one out of the private collection. It is Bois d'Argent. This one is one of my absolute favorites. It's like an iris woody scent. It's very warm, there's myrrh honey in here as well, but it's also very clean smelling. I just love that iris and woodiness combination. Anyway, so this one is my favorite favorite, but from the standard designer line, just the standard women's designer line from like J'adore, Miss Dior, and The Poisons, it's probably gonna be Miss Dior for me. I actually really, really love Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, but I don't have a full bottle of it, so we're gonna stick with the Bois d'Argent. That's my favorite one from Dior. Onwards we go and it's Hermes. Hermes is also one of the best designer fragrance houses in my opinion. I think they're super underrated and all of their fragrances smell really, really good. So this was really, really tough for me. I also really love Kelly Kalesh, but I chose L'Ambre de Merveille because this one I wear the most. It's a ambery scent, obviously. It does have a very reminiscent scent profile to Eau de Merveille, so it has this sort of like saltiness and orange facet. This one smells like a, like a spiced orange. It smells a little bit like pine and it's perfect for the cold weather. For the winter, it's lovely. It's the one I reach for the most. This one has an added sweetness. I'm gonna do a full collection review of the Merveille line in future, but for me, this is probably my favorite one if I had to choose one. So there you go. Then Mugler, of course, Mugler. Tragically, we lost Thierry Mugler. My baby's laughing at a very inappropriate moment. I'm talking about Mugler and how he died. You can't laugh at that. Well, this is what happens when you're filming with a baby facing you. Uh, Yes, tragically we lost Thierry Mugler this year and his fragrances are some of the most unique. We have Angel, Alien, Aura, Womanity, all of them very, very polarizing. My favorite is Alien. Very, very sexy, not for everyone, but I'm an alien girl, this is my favorite. Next up, Guerlain. Guerlain is an amazing, amazing fragrance house as well. A very good private collection like Angelique Noir, um, I've smelled Tonka Imperial, Neroli Outre Noir. Anyway, of the designer collection, my favorite one from them is Mont Guerlain Bloom of Rose. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know my love affair with the EDT version of Bloom of Rose. It's just a fresher, more, a feminine rosy take on the original Mont Guerlain. I really love this one. It's my favorite from the house. I'm not mentioning the La Petite Robe Noire Eau Fraiche, which you guys know I also love and I've mentioned throughout my videos because I'm pretty sure that one's discontinued and I'm trying to stay away from the discontinued ones. Next up, Narciso Rodriguez, the Musk Master. My favorite is the Red Cube. It's a little bit lipsticky, it's a little bit sweet. This is my favorite one. Then we have YSL. I love almost all YSL fragrances. I have so many. I've done a full YSL collection review, which I'll link up here for you guys. But as of today, it was a tough choice, but I have to say the original Libre is my favorite. It's very versatile. It's easy wearing. It's a different type of lavender and vanilla. It's not like Mont at all. It has a strong white floral. There's like a little bit of an orange blossomy thing as well. It's, it's lovely. It's fresh smelling and very, very long lasting. So. 
That's my favorite from YSL. I would have picked Manifesto, but again, discontinued. But yeah, this is my favorite vanilla of all time. If you can ever find Manifesto, I recommend you grab it if you're a vanilla lover because it's fantastic. Last two, we have Victor and Raw for men. I love Spice Bomb for women. My favorite flower bomb is the Midnight. It has a nice pomegranate note and it has a muskiness that kind of smells like Narciso musk. So that is my favorite from Victor and Rolf, but all of their fragrances I find are very well done. And lastly, we have Bulgari. I know this probably comes as a surprise because it's not a really popular designer fragrance brand, but I love all of their fragrances. I love all of their tea collection and I love all of the Omnias, at least all of the ones that I've tried. Unfortunately, Green Jade is discontinued. That one is really my favorite one. So I had to go with just the original Omnia. I love this one. It's really, really underrated and it's like a creamy spiced tea scent. There's a note of masala tea in here and it really does smell like creamy. So it's not like a fresh tea scent. It's not like a green tea. It really just smells like a creamy spiced tea and it's beautiful. It has a sort of lotion-y effect as well. Really, really lovely. I like the Omnia Crystalline as well, but that one's a little bit more simplistic. So if I have to pick one, I'm picking the original Omnia EDP. And there you have my top designer fragrance houses and my favorite fragrance from each house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below. Let me know what your favorite designer fragrance brands are. What are your favorite fragrances from each house? I feel like saying that whole sentence was a complete tongue twister. It was challenging. I would love to see what the most popular picks are. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.